Hello, we have a custom LEGO minifigure review and a bunch of accessories, minifigure parts from Eclipse Graphics. Um, I think there's actually only one minifigure in all of this, but this is a few orders combined into one. There's a lot of minifigure parts, uh, accessories, weapons. Uh, so we'll start with the freebies, of course. I think there's only one bag, uh, two bags. Just because, like I said, it's a few orders combined into one. As well as new head packs, which I was really excited about. We also have a sticker, which I'll show in one second. So we have a, we do have a new Clippy sticker. Uh, I know the logo has changed. This one's holographic, which is actually pretty cool. It's very subtle, but it's nice. I want an all yellow one now, like the real Clippy logo. It's a good size one, palm size. Now we do have some freebies. Get all those open. That one's empty. Get this one open. There we go. Love my freebies. Appreciate them. So we do have one of the. Uh, so of course uh, we got a Brick Forge and Eclipse Graphics uh, plate, which is cool. This is actually a Lego plate. It's so actually I can use this one instead of showing the old ones. If you need a comparison, it's typically these ones. You can see they are printed. So pretty cool. Weird, it's Brick Forge. I don't know what minifigure they would have did together. I can't remember. Uh, we have a uh, Last Jedi poster. These are on two by four smooth tiles. We have um, a lightsaber um, piece, lightsaber blade. It's kind of like one of the corrupt ones. Fits in a Lego hilt or custom hilt. Uh, we have a little vial here in clear. That'd be hard to see. I believe that's a brick forge part. We have one of the like brick forge caps, or you can use them as like a cup. Kind of looks like a whiskey glass. Uh, we have a one by two smooth tile, and this is a uh, chapter one, the Dark Lord Ascending. Don't know what book this is to, but these do fit in Lego books, and I think that's what uh, this one would have been in from the EG. <clears throat> we have one, two, and three different styles of clippy emojis. We got a happy one, a heart eye one, and a winky one. We have a one by two tile, which is the iPhone, and I think this might be the uh, like the breakup ones, or if I'm not mistaken. But it is an iPhone. You can see the they are texting someone with an Android though. Uh, we have a penny, I think. Yep, we got a penny. It zooms out. There we go. We've got a penny. We have a either a quarter or a dime. Uh, this one is or a nickel, quarter or a dime or a nickel. We have a two by th uh, three smooth tile of a help wanted sign. I like this. this. is a good freebie. Post this up in Lego City, and this might go really well with the Lego dispensary signs. I really like these. These are translucent glass pieces. They print on the back, you can see. And these would go in the Lego doors frames, so you can make windows and stuff like that. I like this one a lot. It looks really nice on the glass tiles. He does a lot. I have a lot of them to show off. And then we have another either quarter nickel or a dime. So some awesome quick freebies. Uh, let's jump into the parts now and miscellaneous stuff. We have a torso, so to go with the dispensary one, uh, it's a tie-dye shirt. It's the Best Buds one. You can see it's got the leaf on front, tie-dye swirl on the back. Very nice. Uh, this is UV printed. It actually looks really good. Love the swirls. Tie-dye on the sides look really good on the arms. They are different as well. Then we do have, there's that nice tie-dye swirl on the back. So for all those Lego dispensary enthusiasts, this is a good shirt for them. Uh, we have get all the parts 
some stuff. So these I was really excited for, uh, along with the other ones. Show these ones first. So these are the smoke shop, vape shop ones. So actually I got another dispensary one that I ordered. So you can see, same dispensary one. I got the smoke shop one, which looks really good. I got the vape shop one with the open sign. And then we got the We Sell CBD. <laughs> All these are going to look perfect in Lego City. So you have a vape shop, smoke shop, anything like that. Uh, EG's come out with a lot of custom, uh, like cigarettes and um, and cigars and stuff like that. Um, and then these ones I'm really excited for. These are like the party store ones. And they had some in stock and then I wasn't able to get them. And then I got the other ones at a later time. So I do have one of each. Um... And again, these are all like window panes you would see kind of like in like a party store or a liquor store, at least where I'm at. It's kind of funny. Uh, we also got their new Gunnarama, so their shooting range one. See, locked and loaded 24-7, Gunnarama. That's one of their weapons, actually. It's a Star Wars weapon, so it's kind of funny that's on there. So Lego gun range. They've also sold targets and stuff like that. All right, so now we'll start with the... <laughs> the party store tiles and I absolutely love these so now we got the first one um, you can see they got like peeled stickers on them cash and gold we got some new energy drink stud borrow special we got a monster we accept EBT a little credit card logo on there and stuff like that what are those called those are called stud light oh those are beer not energy drinks it's an awesome tile a little dirty you need to clean the glass next one is the <clears throat> Uh, vape e uh, sig juice. We got some camels for six eighty nine. Uh, a Heineken can and an ATM sticker. And again, you can see like a peeled sticker. One in the background. On the backs, it just looks like that because that's the side that prints. Uh, next one is the open sign. We got some stud ports, so like new ports. Uh, Lego City Lottery. Oh, that's amazing. We got more stud light ATM inside. Some more peeled sticker stuff on the back. Really like that one. We have a no smoking sign. We uh, under 18 we card. Another Heineken for $18.99. Some more stud ports for $6.89. And the last one is the ATM. Uh, oh, I already have one of these. So I got double of these ones. I was just ordering stuff because I really wanted these. So, <laughs> But I like them a lot. So you can open up, I've been looking at like instructions or like stuff, ways to build a Lego, a modular Lego party store. So that's what I'm currently looking at to do for my Lego city. It's kind of funny. But you can see these are all the glass panes, the new ones. Love them. Great job with those. <coughs> uh, graphics, Victor. Uh, now we'll get into a bunch more parts. So this one kind of goes with the like party store style. This is a grocery store. These are on... Um, one by eight bricks. Just says grocery, convenience store, and deli. So this could go with the party store style windows or anything like that. That's the reason I got it. <clears throat> Show those in a second. We do have a lot of brick arms that I just ordered. I know uh, EG's not going to be doing brick arms and stuff like that. So just wanted to get some new stuff that he had that came out. Uh, I got some more tiles and parts and heads along with drinks. Um, he had a lot of new, uh, what do you call them, like cyberpunk heads that came out. I got one of each of all those. Which I will show off, because there's some cool ones in here, actually. Uh, I also got another torso, so the other one, one was free, or I got two, I don't know. Um, we got a 2 by 3 legalize the Lego Leaf. Could be like a poster. Uh, we got some rolling. Oh, these are all. This is all the weed paraphernalia. Um, the stud wraps, the paper wraps. These are on a one by two. It says natural, unfiltered rolling papers. Classic stud. 
we have the <clears throat> Blazing for Dummies, so the, the books, 2 by 3 it's lit. We have a Cannabis Dispensary sign. We got a, uh, this is a tray, you know, you can put all your paraphernalia on here, cut it up, grind it, whatever you want to do. It's like those wood trays from, um, not stud, but the rolling papers one. We got, uh, I assume this is an ID card. So this is a uh, Vin E figure. That's funny. 1960 issued on 420-2023, expires 7-11-2015. <laughs> so we got a little card here. It's going to expire in a couple years. <clears throat> We have a Stoner Patch Figs. I think that's what it says. Yep. They got THC in them, so we got some gummies. <laughs> Edible gummies. I love EG so much. Then we also have medicated studs, and these got like nerds. Some more candies. Go along with that stuff. We have some cocktails. We have their one of the strawberry ones. It's like a, like a daiquiri, I think. These are made with epoxy. I've done this before with Lego cups. We have a... <clears throat> kind of like an old-fashioned. It's got a cherry. Nice gradient in there. And then we got a little, like, this is, would be like a little whiskey. Whiskey glass. You can see it's that little tiny one from Brick Forge. And then we have the new multi-styled blunts from EG, which I don't want to take them out because they're small, but some very cool ones. He's done a lot of awesome stuff, like I said. That one in the middle is really nice, the, the green and the brown. <clears throat> we did get a bunch of brick arms. We got some switch blades, which I've shown many times. Just got some extra ones, different colors, open, silver, gold. Uh, we got some rust guns. These are the revolvers. One's got the red dot, one's got a scope. There we go. Just kind of going quick through this stuff because I've showed these styles before. We got some of the new, newer style ARs that Brick Arms had. Um, these ones are tan. Got gunmetal, another gunmetal, uh, black. This one I didn't have. This is like the sci fi Uzi pistol. Can't remember the name of it. But I didn't have one of these and wanted to get it. It's very cool brick arms. And we got the, I think this is the PKM with the box mag. Pretty cool weapon. And then we got, these are printed by EG. They're very hard to see. The links will be down below. You can check these out. But they have like uh, a thermal sensor, the alien sensor. Um, these attach like modcom weapons. Uh, they're all printed. They have different colors. I just got them in black. Oh, actually I got a few different ones without the print on them. In one of each color. So OD green, tan, white gunmetal and black if you want to see a closer look look online because they're really hard to see in camera uh, these ones are new though these are the um, again, I can't think of the weapon name but these are the uh, printed ones that EG does it's a really cool camos like CSGO style ones they remind me of nice black white orange style camo very futuristic gun And the other one is more just black white, a little bit of different uh, accessory styles to them. Really cool. Like I said, I'm going a little fast for these ones just to get through everything. Next, we have all the new cyber heads. Very cool. Top one's cool. Visors and stuff like that. Didn't play the game. Cyberpunk. I think that's what it was. 
Um, some very cool style heads here, tattoos, eyes. Some have metal parts to them. Could be cyborgs, humans, both. Or robots. They are cyborgs. Um, all different styles. Really like the black one with the red dot in the center. As well as the guy in the bottom. This one looks like a Lego Star Wars figure that used to, that came out a long time ago. One of the pirate guys. But some cool custom heads. Very A lot of uses for these ones. Quality of them is really nice. Really likes that one. It's focusing on that second one. And now we'll get into these, which I was really excited about. These are the mystery head packs. These are very new. Actually, these just came out recently. Um, and I sadly did not have them opened. Which I should have, clearly. I think they comes with four heads. So this one came with five. So we'll go through each one. One, two, three, four. Just a bunch of random assorted heads. Kind of gets rid of the uh, like loot crate styles. Uh, top one's like a snow ski mask military style. Next one's pink. We got the COVID mask on a zombie. Kind of like a cartoony translucent orange Elmo eyes. We got the um, thriller face in lime green. And then the ghost mask in red, which looks really good. So good pack there. Again, a lot of uses for these, especially if you want to do some wacky cool combos. Let's jump into the next one. Again, like I said, I should have had these open. I wasn't thinking about it. So they do come with five. I like that a lot, actually. I was thinking they only came with four. We got some cool colors with this one. We got purple, uh, gold. Oh, that one's cool. Uh, green. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's a classic zombie color. Oh, okay, cool. Top one, zombie head in that like lighter green color. Love that. Next one's a green neutral. Interesting, interesting. Uh, next one is a gold, like, wounded victim. One after that. This is actually purple, like the really dark purple zombie head. And then the last one is a Jason head on, like, a tan brown, dark tan brown. I don't actually know the color spectrum. It's another good pack. Top, this one for sure, this purple one and the gold one are Actually, the neutrals are a really good one, too. I have a lot of Jason masks. It's another nice grab. And the last random head pack one I got. Get it open. There we go. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Got some cool ones. Oh, Mr. Meek season. Translucent blue. Oh, we got an Ice Cream Joe. Ah, there's another Jason head in the same color. And a light blue zombie. Nice. Alright, so we got a light blue zombie. One of the ones with the busted up jaws. I like that one a lot. Same Jason one. We got a yellow Joe. Ice Cream Joe. Cool Joe one. We got a pink smiley. And a translucent blue Mr. Meeks. Ah, that one's like, that's probably the best one in this one. That's awesome. I know someone who might be jealous for that one. <laughs> very cool. So these head grabs were very good. Throw on some bases just so I can get them set up. Get that one on there. All these heads. Then we got one more head pack, and I'll finally show off this mini figure. These ones are new as well, and these are the Ice King head pack. And you can see Eclipse graphics. We got the Clippy with the um, face, light blue packaging. And if you don't know what this pack is, if you, it's the uh, the Heisenberg head pack, pretty much, or the Breaking Bad head pack. There we 
go. This one came with six heads, it looks like. Let's see if I can get them. Actually, I'm not going to guess. But, like I said, these are the Heisenberg head pack. Comes with six heads, and it's all the variations of Heisenberg in the show Breaking Bad. Played by Brian Cranston, a.k.a. Walter White. So we got starting at the top one, we got the shades with the mustache goatee combo for Heisenberg. And there's a lot of detail in these. We got nice wrinkles around the eyes. You can see that jawline. Next one is sunglasses with only the mustache. Next one is the glasses with must, uh, mustache goatee combo. Whatever that is like his OG one, season one. He's got the glasses, mustache, very casual looking. This is the final season one where he's got the beard, scruffy hair. Really like that one. And then this one's, I think, season four or season three. I can't remember. Uh, where he's got the, it's like beat up and he's got the busted up nose. So he's got the thing over his nose. But an awesome head pack. Did a good job with those ones as well. Throw them on a base. And finally, the very cool minifigure out of everything in here. And this minifigure's name is the Cyberpunk City Biker. He does come with a few different head styles. He also comes with some weapons. Some Actually, the same style weapons. Uh, I believe these are Brick Warrior SMG pistols. See, they got a little sight on top, extended magazine, nice little grip here, suppressor. These are just in black. And the other one is the same as well. And we do have some different style heads with some emoticons on them. Got like a happy, nervous face, an uh, angry face, and a neutral face. And they're kind of like pixelated because they look, they're like a light mask. If you've ever seen those. So like the lights, of course, are lighting up on the mask style. You can kind of see them from the angle there. These are on just black Lego heads. They look very cool. Now for the minifigure himself. Very cool minifigure. He's got a hood as his accessory. And he's kind of just got like an eyeball style face with the light up there. Take off his... Uh, he does have print on the hood right there. Then we will start at the minifigure's face. Like I said, that's that like that light up style mask. It's all just lit up. It's kind of like a circle or an eyeball. He's just on the front there, nothing on the back. Coming out to his chest and torso, he's kind of got like a cyberpunk, um, like Japanese style outfit on. You can see the writing right here. Um, the buttons on his outfit on the front here. You can see he's got some undershirt, some detailing inside the jacket. Uh, printing on the waist is just the split between the jacket there. Uh, minifigure can come apart. Doesn't hurt the printing at all. This is a UV printed minifigure. Coming down to the uh, legs. You can see that jacket comes all the way down just over the knees. A little bit of red accenting on the bottom. Uh, and then we do have some knee pads right here. On the fronts, some red and then some uh, darker gray accenting around them. Then we do have the shoes on the front there. Very nice. So some clean sketchers. Uh, coming over to the side of the minifigure. No printing on the side of the body or waist. We do have printing on the side of the arms. It's got a little red band at the shoulder and the wrist. little elbow pad there. Some detailing down the side. Uh, he's got black hands. Just assuming he's got gloves on. And then coming over to the side of the legs. You can see a little that red wrap around the side here. And then the side detailing on his pants could be like the knee pad strap going across. 
side detail on the shoes is very nice. You can see the heel coming up, the sole of the shoe, some red accenting. Printing is the same on this side. You have the upper red here on the arm, arm coming down, red on the arm, uh, black hand, and then blah, no printing on the side of the body or waist. Same printing on the side of the legs as the other side. And then to the back of the minifigure. A very cool logo back there with some demonic monster on the back. Um, part, we got a little bit of part robot showing. Cyborg on the side there. A little bit of a collar right there at the upper spot. No printing on the back of the waist. We do have printing on the back of the legs. That red band coming around from the front all the way to the back. And then the soles on the shoes on the bottom. inside the legs? Nope. <laughs> Throw his hood on. We will give him his custom weapons so you can get a final feel of what he looks like. Very cool minifigure actually. One of my favorites recently coming out of EG I think. <clears throat> Throw him on his custom Eclipse graphics base plate. Line him up. So that is my very big Eclipse graphics order. One minifigure and a lot of accessories, parts, uh, brick arm weapons. Slide everything over. Fun stuff, silly stuff. Uh, Eclipse graphics has always done some very cool stuff. So, uh, always like the work. Victor's amazing. His family's amazing. They're all great over there. Um, and his brick warrior stuff is really cool as well. So you can check all that stuff out too. Um, Links will be down below for all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff to look at. If it's in stock, I believe he is not in stock because he's an older style minifig. Um, but most of the stuff should be. I believe the signs aren't as well. Like I said, you can check down below. Um, and I don't, I think, I think I gotta make another order because I think he's got new stuff coming out. Hopefully for the holidays. I don't think he had any Halloween stuff. But some cool stuff indeed. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.